You can now use the graduated filter in Photoshop's RAW dialog on skies with irregular horizon, for instance on skies that have a mountain, a building or a person in front of them. For instance, this sky is boring. For some time already you could darken it with the graduated filter like that. That way the sky gets progressively darker towards the top of the frame. However, unwantedly, the top of the hill darkens together with the sky. If you have the current Photoshop CC, you can protect the hill against darkening, like that. So now for the first time the graduated filter is really versatile and we will discuss the technique right now. As I said, you need the newest Photoshop CC. This is the Camera Raw dialog and now we switch to the graduated filter. Click into the top of the image and drag down while pressing the Shift key. The shift key here guarantees a strictly vertical line. Now the sky darkens from horizon to top. We had already prepared for this darkening with the sliders to the right. Exposure is set to minus 1.7. Now I change exposure. Also highlights and saturation are altered. And we have added a color effect, as you can see from the color picker to the right. With this button below you can compare original and edited version. Still, the hilltop darkens together with the sky, unwantedly. You see that as well when you switch on the mask overlay with the checkbox at the bottom. The more reddish the area, the more Lightroom darkens the image. We need to remove the hilltop from this effect. And that's no problem if you have the current Photoshop CC. At the top right you click on Brush. Then below you take the brush with the minus sign. You need a hard tip and auto mask. Then you paint across the hill. As you can see, the area gets lighter. Wherever you paint, the graduated filter has no more effect. In this case, it cannot darken the image. Lightroom follows the contours of the hilltop automatically, because we are using auto mask. So you don't need to paint very precisely along the edge. Lightroom will follow the main subject anyway. Now I click again at the bottom to display the mask. You see that I have already painted in the middle and now with the mask visible I continue to paint. There may be a few red dots that you cannot remove right now. Then you turn off the option Auto Mask and paint over the last red spots. But this you should do only after you have defined the edges of your area with Auto Mask on. For now Photoshop displays a red mask. Depending on your image other colors work better. On the bottom right you click onto the color box. Now you can change the overlay color for instance to green. You can change the opacity. And you can change the appearance. I click on unaffected areas and now the overlay hides areas that are not changed by the graduated filter. This is sometimes more useful. Now I set everything back to the way it was before. You've seen how to turn off the graduated filter in certain areas. The new filter brush can also act just the other way around. Include certain areas so that they get the effect with 100% strength. Let's say you want the darkening effect in full amount across the sky without decrease towards the horizon. You need the brush again and it is still active. Right below you click on the brush with the plus sign. If you now paint over the sky all of it will be darkened to an exposure value of minus 1.7. I undo this and try a different style. I create a large soft brush tip without auto mask. The graduated filter is great for skies, but it also works well on monotonous foregrounds as in this picture. So I click new and I drag in the foreground And then I adjust exposure, clarity and color. Here are original and edited version, courtesy of the current Photoshop CC. So where would you prefer to dip? The same editing is possible as well in Lightroom CC and Lightroom 6. I hope you like the new filter brush and you found this video useful. I'll remain your Heiko Neumeyer.